Hello there, and welcome to this Space Engineer's basic tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basic controls needed to play Space Engineers. I'll also be showing you some mechanics to help you get started. We always recommend that new players start in creative mode, as it is much more forgiving and also allows them to get into the action quicker. If in doubt, select the Quick Start option after selecting New World from the main menu. First off, let's look at movement. The movement controls are pretty straightforward, using a WASD scheme to move left, right, forward and back. You press C to crouch and space to jump. You can also change the pace at which your engineer moves at by pressing the caps lock key. Here you can alternate between running and walking. You can also hold the shift key to sprint. To switch perspective from first to third person, press the V key. When you're in third person, you can hold Alt to look around you. Lastly, you can press Tab to show or hide your heads up display. If you ever forget any of the controls, then press F1. Here you can find the basic controls, advanced controls and spectator controls. OK, let's go outside. When we approach this door, we can look at the control panel and press T when we see the yellow highlight appear. Now we're going to look at jetpack controls. To turn on your jetpack, press X. Then you use space to ascend and C to descend. You use WASD to strafe left and right and move forward and back. You also have roll using Q and E to roll left and right. Lastly, jetpacks have inertial dampeners. These are in place to help slow the player's character down as well as to keep it automatically hovering above the ground. These can be toggled on and off by pressing Z. Next up, we're gonna look at building. By pressing G, you can bring up the block screen here you can see all the blocks available to you in the game. If you would like to find the block that you are looking for quicker, then use the search box. Blocks are also organised into categories based on function. So now I'm going to show you how to equip a block to your toolbar. You can either drag down to your toolbar and release or you can double click or right click. To place a block, left click. To remove a block, right click. If you would like to create a line of blocks, left click while holding control and drag in the direction that you would like the line. Then release both buttons to place the line. To create a plane, left click while holding both control and shift, drag out and then release the buttons. To exit block placement mode, press zero. This will empty your hands. Let's build a new ship. There are two ways to do this. You can either create a ship from your toolbar or from the block screen. This time I'm going to use the toolbar. By pressing 1 I can create a new small ship. This places a landing gear which automatically locks to the station. First off I place a cockpit onto this landing gear. And now I'm going to place some normal blocks so I have something to build on. Now I need to place a gyroscope and you can rotate blocks using the keys given in the top right hand corner. Next up power. This could be in the form of batteries or reactors but this time I'm going to use reactors. And I'll place four of them. Ships and space engineers need thrusters in all directions. So first we're going to place some forward thrusters. and then some backwards thrusters side thrusters up thrusters and finally some down thrusters Please keep in mind that the more powered and mechanical blocks you have on your ship, the more power generators you will need. 
Okay, let's take this thing for a test drive. We'll press P to unlock the landing gears and off we go. The main difference between a large ship and a station is that a station tends to be static. Here I just created a station block from the block screen. Notice how I can place the block into the ground. As long as the station is in contact with the ground, it will remain stationary. So if you were to sever the connection between a station and the ground, that station would become dynamic like a large ship and probably topple over. In this next part of the tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cut, copy and paste ships. Here we find a fighter that is crashed and is currently lying upside down. If I point at it and press Ctrl X, I can cut it or delete it from the scene. Now we come over to this landing pad over here and we paste the ship back in. We do this using Ctrl V and then we can rotate it using the keys given to us in the top right hand corner. You can press B to perfectly align the ship to the horizontal. Once you are happy with the orientation, you can move the ship down and press left click. Now I'm going to show you how to copy ships using Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl V to paste it. And here I've just duplicated it twice. Now let's look at ship controls. When I go over to this fighter and I see the cockpit light up yellow, I can press T to enter the cockpit. Now let's look at the landing gears. Currently they're green which indicates they're locked to the platform. By pressing P I can unlock them. Then we see a yellow light. This indicates that they're ready to lock. Black indicates that they're not ready to lock or out of range from something to lock to. The controls are similar to jetpack, with space being ascend and C being descend. And then we use the normal WASD keys to move left, right, forward and back. As well as the Q and E to roll left and right. Ships also have inertial dampeners. They are very important as they always try to keep a ship in a stationary hover. If you have them turned off, you will have to manually press space to stop yourself from falling. Okay then, so I think that's all the flight controls done. Let's go get some pirates. And first off, I'm going to show you how to equip weapons and tools onto your ship toolbar. So if we press G, we bring up the G menu and then we can go to weapons and tools and either drag down, double click or right click on the weapon or tool of your choice. So now they've been equipped and we can fire them. We switch between them by pressing 1 and 2. You can also look around your ship's cockpit by holding alt and moving your mouse. This is the same for third person and you can also zoom in and out of your third person perspective by using the scroll wheel. As you can see we're getting shot at by that pirate station. So we're going to come around this mountain and try and attack it from another angle. Also you can press V twice to reset your camera position. Unfortunately, I think this pirate station is a little too strong for us this time as it is slowly taking off our thrusters. Now we're coming in for an inevitable crash. And unfortunately, there we have it. Our ship has been pretty much destroyed. So if we would like to return to where we started or if you ever get lost in the game world and want to respawn, then press backspace and then yes. After a short countdown, you'll be presented with a spawn menu. Here you can choose between spawning at a random location or at an existing medical room. And here we find ourselves back in the original room where we started. And that brings this basic tutorial to a close. If you would like to learn more about any aspect of the game, then please proceed to play the in-game tutorials. These can be located in the main menu by selecting the New World option. Thank you for watching, we hope that you found this video useful and we will see you next time.